happy with that, Nigel? Yeah, I'm yeah, very happy with that. Uh, it was a tricky encounter against a very physical side, not only um, in very difficult conditions. So what we had to do was um, physically man up, which we has been a theme in our pre-season, uh, but also just adapt to the conditions as well. Again, that's been another theme, and we did adapt well. Probably adapted better than only to the conditions. Um, and the other area I was very pleased with was our set piece. Our set piece functioned very well, and it took a lot away from them as well. And in these conditions, you know, that's what you have to do. So, yeah, I'm very pleased. Um, always difficult to start your season. You don't quite know, you know, what you've got and what you're coming up against, but. Uh, we've got a W and we can move forward with a certain amount of momentum. Yeah, with those conditions, they really did make it a scrap in that first half, didn't it? You know, the ball squirting out everywhere. Yeah, they did, you know, and there were clear indicators on how we needed to play the game yeah. um, in that first half. So we were able to sort of crystallise those ideas at half time with the group. And, um, uh, you know, that's ultimately where we were able to put pressure on them. One of the key uh, themes going into this match was to, to play at a, a level of intensity that they found difficult to stick with. Um, and you know, on occasions we did that. With that in mind, you said obviously play a certain way. Dan Newton at 10, obviously kicked his goals, you know, kicked the corner as well. Yeah, I thought he did very well. You know, He controlled the game very well. Uh, I also thought Rodri went yeah. well at 9 again, yeah. you know, in very difficult conditions. Uh, at 9 and 10, he managed to play very well. Yeah, and obviously pressure kicks as well with Dan in it and, and a lot. Of yeah, you know, you've got to kick your kicks and um, a couple of seasons ago well, where we were down to 60% yeah. success rate, it cost us uh, key matches and in games like this, in conditions like this, you have to be able to kick your kicks and uh, you know, fortunately Dan did that, it's something he's been working on um, and he's very comfortable doing that now. Yeah. So a good platform along the back row to sort of get about and cause disruption with and without the ball. Yeah, the well, back was very good yeah. today, very effective. Uh, you know, Josh, you know, Ben, and, and, and McCusker, mm-hmm. exceptional. You know, they've got big physicality, all three of them. But as you say, that was based on the fact that uh, our front five put a big effort in today. And as I said earlier, I think you know, his head piece has to function, um, and particularly in these conditions. But not only that, we took so much away from them in that uh, facet of the game as well. That's going to be an area of strength here, now, isn't it? Moving forward, and say if you can keep obviously yes, in Reese and I don't see a man of the match there today. For yeah, you know our, our front row was very good, and when you consider, you know, someone like Emir uh, is probably considered a third choice hooker. Um, he's certainly not a third choice hooker no. for anybody. You know, Emir is an exceptional player. Um, but you know, that front row went particularly well yeah. for us, and uh, we know what they can do and how they can perform. It's as good as anything that's out there. Um, and luckily, we've come through this encounter without any any knocks, so yeah. we're in good shape. But our focus immediately switches now to the next task, which is call out on. And that means the players have to look after themselves the next 24 to 48 hours mm-hmm. and manage themselves so that we're in top nick really for that encounter. Boys to come back for next week? Um, possibly uh, Nick Reynolds and possibly um, uh, Gareth Moore. Will be available. <coughs> um, we'll just um, we just play it by year this week, um, but it would be good to have those options um, uh, just to strengthen the, you know, where where we go. Nice to Gareth back as well coming off the bench there. For yeah, the we we made a bit of a call on Gareth. Uh, we've been managing conservatively yeah. in terms of his uh, recovery, and um, probably wasn't ideal to put him on the bench, but then. Rugby is an ideal yeah. sometimes, and we have to react. So we had a good chat with him and the physios, and we felt that well, we're going to have to try them at some stage. So under the circumstances, we did it yeah. probably sooner rather than later. Well, welcome, Shai Randy Fendi. Probably try given what he's been through in the last twelve months. Yeah, great. You know, he's, he's had a tough uh, twelve months, as you say. Um, he's been very impressive in pre-season. His work rate is phenomenal, um, and you know, very impressive try to, to steal the ball and then go over himself. But he did a lot of good work defensively as well. Both him and Lee, have, have, without the ball in particular, have worked very well for us. And they're, you know, they're on the last line of defence. They come in a lot of space, and they're doing that particularly well at the moment. Difficult afternoon for two centres, Nigel. There's a lot of. Yeah, it was, all, it was always going to be difficult, you know, I think everybody had a sense early on that uh, it wasn't uh, the type of day and conditions yeah. where you, you could pass the ball very much and, uh, you know, we ended up putting a lot of pressure on ourselves early doors because of that mm-hmm. and we had to react and adjust and adapt um, to that, which we did very well, I thought.